Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Jeremy Hoffman, the Climate and Earth Science Specialist here at the Science Museum of Virginia. Today, let's look into something you've probably heard about a lot recently. Just what is the scientific difference between weather and climate? The dictionary defines climate as the generally prevailing conditions of a region, such as its yearly temperatures, winds, and precipitation, averaged over a series of years, while the weather is defined as the current state of the atmosphere, with respect to it being hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or storm, clear or cloudy. For example, the weather one day can be clear and sunny with a light westerly wind. And the next day, it can be cold, rainy with a chance of thunderstorms. But how can we get a better feel for what climate really is? Let's take a look at a couple examples so that we can better recognize the differences between weather and climate. In order to do this, we have to go somewhere you might not expect, to the baseball diamond. Consider Prabir's little known baseball career. When Prabir goes up to bat, he can hit a home run or he can bunt. More than likely though, he's gonna strike out. <laughs> Prabir's at bat is like baseball weather. Prabir's baseball card, on the other hand, tells us about his long-term average chance of getting a hit, also known as his batting average. This is like baseball climate, the long-term average of at bats. Just like climate is the long-term average of weather. But let's look at another way we can think about this science using human psychology. Prabir has had an especially rough day at work. He's stressed, he's busy, he's upset, and he's quiet. But everyone knows Prabir to be a really outgoing and fun guy. And so I said, I think it's the same difference. <laughs> Prabir's daily mood is a lot like the weather happy and sunny or dark and rainy. It can change fairly significantly day to day. But Prabir's personality is like the climate. It's how we know him as a person. He's a happy and fun guy. Ultimately, scientists like to say that climate is what we expect, but weather is what we get. For a real world example, let's look at the last 100 years of weather on 4th of July. The 4th of July in the Piedmont can have temperatures that range anywhere from the low 70s all the way up to the low 100s. But on average, 4th of July temperatures are around 87 degrees Fahrenheit, a pretty good temperature for a yard party, cooking hot dogs, and responsibly using sparklers. Virginia's climate in the summer tells us to expect a reasonably warm 4th of July, but the weather can give us anywhere in between. That's just how weather works. Thank you so much for watching our video about the difference between weather and climate. For more information, head over to our website at smv.org. But in the meantime, leave us a comment in the space below and tell us what you notice about the difference between climate and weather here in Virginia. I think it's the same difference. <laughs> no, dude, we just went through three really good examples, literally just went through them.